hello 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 and welcome to my youtube channel it is i your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you so much for coming back it is greatly appreciated if you haven't already subscribed ring the bell for notifications don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below let me know that you stopped by this is going to be your october zodiac reading for scorpio scorpio y'all ready Y'all ready? Because I done did Libra and Libra Scorpio cusp already. And it's getting kind of heavy. Y'all ready? Okay. We're going to get started. We're going to get the card shuffled up so we can begin. Hope you guys enjoyed the month of September. Your birthday is coming up. Mm. As always, I hope everyone is dealing with their traumas and their unhealed energy and doing that shadow work. And, um, you know, manifesting the best life. Like, seriously, that's what I hope for everybody right now, okay? Higher self, higher consciousness. Don't let your lower self win, okay? And go ahead and get shuffled up here. Um, while I'm doing that, just I just want to, you know, reiterate. As I've been doing it for the past couple of months, I've been doing you and your person. I'm sorry, you and your person. You and your partner. You and your person. Um, how... Basically, how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person doesn't want you to know, and the overall outcome for the month for the both of you, okay? This person could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a sibling. It could be a parent. It could be a co-worker. It could be anybody, okay? Please also know that this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you and this is and Scorpio is your sun sign, check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus. You know what I'm saying? Um, take with you what resonates and what doesn't. Don't. Okay? It's not going to resonate with every single person exactly the same because it's a general reading. If you want a more in-depth reading, you know what to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, Scorpio, how your person sees you in the month of October. How do they see you? Mm -hmm. They don't think you care anymore. <laughs> um, no longer invested, I kind of feel like. Like you no longer want to pursue things with them or you no longer have like a, mo a motivation for something. Now, I'm going to have to say it's probably about them because of the Ace of Cups. Like the relate, like things have changed. Between the two of you, I kind of feel with that with that Ace of Cups next to the Page of Wands. Like, it's not the same. Like, somebody's, like, forgot their worth. Somebody doesn't know what they're worth anymore. Um, and they realize it. Like, they're just like, what am I doing? What, what, what am I doing this for? I can't really go anywhere with this. I can't build with this. It's kind of what I'm getting. At least that's what I'm seeing with these cards. And that's how your person sees you, Scorpio. Okay? Now, let's see how you see your person, Scorpio. uncontrollable <laughs> or maybe very controlling spirit how does scorpio see their person spirit, how does scorpio see their person hopeless interesting you think they're hopeless like you I, I, maybe it's not they are hopeless but maybe you with them is hopeless like i think that they're very controlling and you know scorpios can be a little controlling themselves <clears throat> so i definitely can't see you being with someone controlling I can't. So if you're looking at them and you're feeling like they're controlling, it would make sense why you're bumping heads, why you're having problems right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Spirit, what does the Scorpio want their person to know? They got something to say or they talking to somebody? You talking to somebody, Scorpio? Spirit, mm-hmm. Y'all cheating. Who you cheating on, Scorpio? Not everybody. Somebody cheating. Somebody's cheating. Somebody has a third party situation going on here. Because I see them stepping out, communicating with someone else. I'm reducing the cards if y'all haven't noticed. Because I don't want to do 20, 30 minute long videos. Just don't. <laughs> so, anyway, Spirit, what doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? Ooh, they're running out of patience. Running out of pace. They're moving on. Yep, they're running out of patience with you. Your person is running out of patience with you. You know it, though. You know it, don't you? You know that, don't you? You know. You do. You feel it. That's why you. the way that you see them over here is like they don't care no more. Like they don't love me like they used to love me. They don't. They don't. They don't. And you know it. And they don't want you to know either. But you, you know, you stepped out already. 
Some of you. For some of you, it's the other way around. Your person has stepped out on, on you, Scorpio. So please, take what resonates, what doesn't. Let it go. Spirit. Final results. You're coming together with somebody, Scorpio. There's going to be some kind of union. What is the overall outcome for the month of October for Scorpio? Mmm, reckless. A fire sign, maybe. Some of you could be... Some of you could have a very disturbing fire sign coming towards you. Like someone who is definitely not about their business. Like Leo Sag Aries. Someone coming towards you. Maybe you want to fight. I don't know. Because <laughs> I just see them coming closer to you, but not in a good way. Like they, they come closely, but it ain't, it ain't good. Spirit. End result for Scorpio's person for the month of October. What is the overall outcome? They stopped talking to you. They stopped talking. They stopped talking, period. Yep. They found themselves. I can't even make this shit up. Their heart is broken. I feel like your heart will be broken. You'll suffer some kind of loss in the month of October, Scorpio. You're going to lose someone. Whether they cheated on you or you cheated on them, it's on the table. It's out there. Like, clear as day. Your person is, or you, or your person is... They don't want to reconcile. They, 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 I feel like they're running for the hills from you. They don't want to talk. They found their divine self. They're doing what's best for them. They're trusting your intuition. They got some new ideas and plans with the page of uh, pentacles here. They got, they got something. They, they want to take this new beginning and move forward with it somewhere else. Maybe they got a new job. Maybe they get a new job and they feel like, you know, they want to get away from you. Maybe they want to move, relocate. I don't know. But, or maybe you want to see, feel like you want to, or maybe you moved from them. You know what I'm saying? That's possible, too. Don't forget, it could be vice versa. Mm-mm-mm, Scorpios. Okay. Spirit, please clarify... How Scorpio's person sees them. Okay. They see you leaving them and being unfair. <laughs> off balance. Or, or not off balance. They, don't, they feel like you're not in harmony. You're not happy. You're not at peace. Justice card. Not at peace. Could be a Libra. Maybe, maybe not. But they, you're, you're not at peace. They know that you're not at peace. And you're leaving. You're leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. I'm going back to a place in time. <laughs> a better place in time, something like that. I'm trying to get these cards set up. I always do that. I always get confused about how I'm going to set these cards up. It was vice versa. It was like that. So we're going to put it the right way because then it reads It reads differently that way. So basically, they your person has, they see you as seeing your worth. Like you're realizing it and you're walking away. You're taking you, your foundation, your money, whatever you got with you when you out. This, you know, could be a Libra, possible. You know, they just, they, they feel like you don't care anymore. Like you're not in harmony. Y'all are not maybe in harmony anymore. Spirit, please clarify. Spirit, please clarify. How Scorpio sees their person. Please clarify the King of Cups reverse and the Star card reverse. They see you, like I said, you see them as being controlling. Confused. They, you see them as being confused. Your person is confused. Emotionally, don't know what the hell they want. And something is intervening. Like, they have no hope. The relationship has no hope. But there's something, in some kind of divine intervention here. Something is divinely separating the two of you. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I'm all jacked up. Okay. Something is divinely separating the two of you with the um with the chariot there. Oh, phone is crooked. Yeah, I know I'm a Virgo. Leo Virgo. I like things to be perfect. So anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> There's some kind of in intervention with the two of you. Like you see it. You can see something intervening with the two of you, but it's divine and it's for a good reason. 
I feel like that also. It's divine and it's for a good reason, especially if the chariot's in the upright position. Could be a cancer. Okay? But I don't feel that. I don't feel cancer. I feel divine intervention with the chariot. Okay, spirit, what doesn't Scorpio want their person to know? Please clarify the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups reverse. They keep it something from you. You keep it something from them? Or they keep it something from you? Spirit, please confirm or clarify. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. You took, your, you took your love elsewhere. You took your love elsewhere. Somebody else getting your love, Scorpio. Ward the energy with the Knight of Cups. Someone else is getting your love. Or they will be soon. Okay. Spirit. What doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? They're building someplace else. Okay, well, y'all kind of on the same page at this point. Like, <laughs> y'all kind of on the same page at this point. He, they, he or she is building someplace else. Spirit, please confirm. What Scorpio's person doesn't want them to know, please confirm. The temperance reverse. No, Spirit said no. Please confirm the temperance reverse and the hangman reverse. No, Spirit says no. Too many cards. Okay. Spirit, please confirm or please clarify the hangman reverse. They what? Yep. Yo, so your person is walking away too. They're walking away. They're, they're letting go. Too much has, I guess, happened between the two of you. So you're kind of on the same page. But you kind of like, you know, you dipping. Y'all might both be dipping. I'm going to be very honest with you. Y'all might both be dipping because that's what it feels like. <laughs> Spirit, please come clarify the two of cups and the knight of wands for the overall outcome for the month of October. Freedom, mental freedom. You're not, you're not even regretful, Scorpio, of moving forward from this. You're not even regretful of this. You're not depressed. You're not in your head. None of that. You you good. I do feel like I said there is someone that is coming in, though. I do feel that. Let's see. Spirit, please confirm. Please clarify the Knight of Wands reverse. Trust your instinct with whoever this is. Trust your instinct. I think that if you trust your instinct, this, this is going to be, the outcome is going to be different for you. But you're definitely getting closer to someone else. There's some kind of union, okay? And that's the overall outcome for the month for you. You get closer to someone else. Trust your intuition. I feel like maybe you might meet them at a bad time. Maybe they might come in recklessly or in some middle of some chaos or something like that. Fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. But whatever the case may be, trust your intuition with it. Okay? Now let's see the overall outcome for the month of October for your person. They're, dis they're, they're not focused. They have an idea, but they're not focused. Spirit, please clarify. Overall outcome for Scorpio's person for the month of October. Please. They're building up their strength. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Pentacles. They're building up their strength and their courage. Leo energy with the um with the strength card. Also, they got some more things to say. They haven't said everything, everything, and they are building someplace else. They're I feel like they're working or they're they're working on themselves. They're getting self-recognition. They're, they're making some changes. And they're getting help from somebody. Like someone's helping to make these changes. So they are definitely... Your person's got some secrets. Or not secrets so much. But they're not telling you everything. Um, definitely a loss. Definitely a loss. This reminds me of the Today's Daily Tea and Tarot. Definitely a loss on the table. Definitely. Like there's a breakup, separation, something of that sort. Oh, oh. The Three of Swords at the... Oh, oh. Scorpio, you losing something this month. Hold on to your bootstraps, okay? It's a big change. It's a big change, Scorpio, and it hurts. It hurts. Let's get some final confirmation. These cards are so thick. It's like, oh. get the wrap up for you guys right let's wrap this reading up for the month of october scorpio who these cards thick all right that's good for that all right spirit final confirmation for scorpio how the person sees them how does your person see you leaving you want you want a whole new you want a new beginning you out 
How does Scorpio see their person? Final confirmation. Spirit. How does Scorpio see their person? Moving on to. Moving on. Moving on. Y'all both y'all both know it. Like whatever this is, is the last. This is the final episode of it. Whatever it is. Spirit, please confirm what Scorpio doesn't want their person to know. For the month of October 2020. Scorpio. The Emperor reversed. That's Aries energy. I told you a fire sign was coming, right? I feel, I feel like you're, 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 it's an Aries. I feel like it's an Aries. Some of you are dealing with Aries. You don't want them to know. They, maybe they know the Aries. I don't know. I don't know. But I get Aries vibes with that Emperor. And then I told you down here was the Knight of Wands. So definitely feeling like that. Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> What does the Scorpio's person want them to know? Final confirmation for the month of October 2020. What doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? They are definitely building in the dark. They stopped ordering y'all situation a long time ago. They walking away. Spirit, final outcome for the month of October. Ooh, be careful about this fire sign, Scorpio. I don't know. This, this masculine, this individual who's supposed to be a masculine divine masculine but they're not i feel like it's someone you could be seeing or someone that you could be dealing with very unbalanced or an off like no structure no discipline within them they don't handle business i feel like you have kind of need to trust your intuition with this because you could either be depressed or not depressed that's the nine of swords reverse and the nine of swords in the upright position over here so you have kind of like you know a few different like a couple different things that could be happening the outcome could definitely play out in two different ways you could be depressed regretful or not so trust your intuition okay so your final confirmation overall outcome for the month of october for scorpio's person one card please what is the overall outcome for the month of october for scorpio's person spirit please and thank you dang strength leo energy again yep this has, this relationship, this situation, this, whatever this is between you and your person has caused you to get out of your femininity. You're very masculine. And this is the vibe for some reason, all across the board. You're, this isn't your divine partner. This person was not your divine partner. Please know that. With the emperor reversed on the table and the emperor's reversed on the table, this person was not your divine partner. I just feel it. Now, over here with the strength card, twice, your person could definitely be Building up some strength to move forward. Building up some security to tell you some things. To tell you what they're working on. What they're trying to do. Um, at least what direction they're headed in. Like I said, everything hasn't been spoken. You know? But they are they are definitely living in their highest potential. They don't want to reconcile. But they are a little discombobulated. Not really focused. Or trying to get focused. But it's been difficult for them. So, it looks like for you and your person for the month of October. You're looking to end things it's the end of an era that's what i feel like it's the end of a chapter it's the end of a journey and you're about to start a new one the both of you and you both know it so best of luck in the month of october scorpio i hope that you all um enjoyed today's reading hope you enjoyed this month's reading if it has resonated with you you know what to do comment down below in the comment box don't forget to subscribe ring that bell for notifications don't forget to give me the thumbs up like don't forget to um you know, comment if you don't forget to share with your friends, share with your family. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me at the Black Cosmic Collagen at gmail.com or you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys so you can get in touch with me. And that is it from my Scorpios for October 2020. Again, enjoy your month of October, Scorpio. Keep your head up, keep smiling, keep shining, and I'll check you guys with the Daily Teen Tarot. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got none but love for y'all. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>